guys and welcome back to the vlog my voice sounds absolutely crazy right now because the devil tried it yesterday like when he absolutely tried it like oh my goodness david yeah you had a cold <laughs> no one I said you had a cold <laughs> no but it's a, i think a cold when you're pregnant it's different yeah so yeah because you weren't feeling well you wouldn't feel well at all and no you're in bed and yeah yeah all day but we're here we're back with the vlog we're doing a weekly vlog this time guys i've never done that on my channel so i'm hoping it goes well i hope you guys enjoy it uh today is monday monday june 5th we're already in june which is like it's nuts because the year is basically basically over mm -hmm. and um, well, it's halfway done basically yeah but i find that like if you're if you're busy or if you're being productive or doing a lot, then the year goes by very very quickly. Yeah, um, we have a lot of things to do this month. We have some interesting things happening in this vlog. I'm gonna be um, working on some ITR divine influence stuff. For those of you guys who know what divine influence is, it's a conference where influencers gathered to be divinely influenced by the Holy Ghost. Amen. So if you're an influencer in the marketplace, influencer in church, influencer in like. Um, in the hospital wherever it is wherever you are called business, to influence ministry, business ministry any facet um, of life if you're influencing then you should be if you're influencing then you should be influencing for god basically exactly so divine influence conference volume two is happening um and we're really excited to release the the website for people to register and people to get their early bird tickets it's going to be absolutely crazy amen it's in montreal so last year was the first one it was only woman. This year is gonna be co-ed. And last year, I think it was planned like essentially in two months. Two months. And we had a really good turnout, like 120 plus people. Yeah. And not just from like Ottawa, Montreal, or Toronto. We had people from also like out of province, out of the country. So that was really cool. Yeah. Um, this year, obviously we're planning for it to be bigger, better. It was our first conference, so like, it was just like, I won't say we're winging it, but we're going by like the leader of the Holy Spirit while having zero idea exactly but this year you know we're a bit more mature we know we're a bit more doing. mature the like still you know. with us so montreal yeah. here we come yeah it's gonna be crazy and we definitely have um we have a team right now that we're working on things with so that way when october comes we're not like struggling of course we would love to start earlier but we're gonna do with what we have and just trust trust god in the process so really excited because i'm gonna be working on a video for that um today we're working on a working on a basically a what is it website a website video by the time on. this vlog goes up the like the website will be up exactly so put the website and like in the bio and stuff like that so you can so register you can, now yeah. basically we'll have early bird tickets um this year will be a bit different i feel like i'm the spokesperson for this conference <laughs> um last year was one day this year it's two days it will be um basically all day friday all day saturday uh, we have some guests coming from like out of town out of the country so we're excited for that obviously that adds like a bunch of complexities but yeah it's super super exciting so it's yeah. gonna be two days um it's gonna be at a bit of a bigger location not a bit it's gonna be at a bigger location yeah um what else what else is there um it's just gonna be crazy it's gonna oh be crazy. yes sorry with the early birds so the really cool thing about the early birds is that obviously now because we're doing like we're adding more things and it's two days yeah the ticket is gonna be more expensive than last year i'm not sure how much it was last year last year was like 50 dollars 50 dollars last year wow yeah. 50 dollars for a conference that was cheap now that I think, cheap, yeah. yeah, now that I think of all the expenses that we did, because like we even had like a cocktail hour, yeah. a bunch of food. We're trying to have something a bit similar, but obviously more budget conscious. Yeah. Um, just because, like, yeah, we have more expenses to do. Like, yeah. We're gonna, yeah, it's just gonna be crazy. I'm really excited about it. We have a lot of um, different conferences that we're studying that are happening like, around the world with like different influencers, different churches, and like yeah. we're taking a bit of like, you know, this Taking conference, that conference, and yeah. like things that really speak to us through obviously the Holy Spirit. And so, but make sure that you sign up for the early birds because you will be saving a lot of money. Uh, but if not, obviously the full ticket price, it's still gonna be worth it. And yeah, that's my little spiel. Divine Influence Conference 2023. Just, just be there. there at the Divine Influence Conference because it's gonna be crazy, guys. It's gonna be crazy. But um, yeah, right now uh, we're just headed to Baby RS and we're gonna do a few. Um, we're headed to IKEA and Baby RS to just do a few shopping. Is that a thing? Do a few shoppings? No. To just shop for a few items. Um, Baby RS is David's favorite store, one of his favorite stores, it so is. he enjoys going there. Hey guys, so we're currently in Toys R Us. Naomi's just used in the washroom. Like Naomi said, it is my favorite place to be, amongst other places, but I just love Toys R Us. I love buying toys for my children. 
while I'm just waiting for Naomi, I'm gonna look for a car for Ezekiel's birthday, which is coming up at the end of the month. He really wants a car, and I like I think it'll be super cool. So let me show you what they have here. So they have this like little race car. What is it? A Corvette looking like? This is sick. This one here, our neighbor has one, and uh, and Ezekiel's always <laughs> staring at their car. This one's a bit of a heavy duty one, Hummer. Honestly, this one's probably way too big, and I know the price is gonna be crazy, so I'm probably not get not gonna get that. But I kind of like these ones here, like this one here is sick. This one here is sick. It's agile. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I like this GT one here. Yeah, I like this one here. So I'm gonna try to get it for his birthday, whichever one he likes the most. This is the stroller we're thinking of. So obviously, <laughs> what are you gonna? No, what this you this you could take off and you can like put like a baby. Oh, this seat. is like for like groceries and stuff. Yeah. Like that. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. So obviously, here would be like an actual crib. So this one be where Ezekiel would sit and we would put the baby car seat. seat. We baby we can we way. can look this way. I think they have the other car seats there. Oh, I like how it has a big. Um, it has big wheels, eh? Do you like how it feels? Yeah. Yeah, so we just went to um, Toys R Us, like you guys just saw. We were able to find the stroller, but it's just the attachment now that's missing. They have a different one, but it's a different color, so we're looking to see if we can buy both that are the same color and the same type. Um, so we're probably going to look online for that. And we got Cinnabon. You got Cinnabon. She's lost against Cinnabon. Cinnabon. She's pregnant. I'm not. I'm trying to lose weight. <laughs> 20 pounds. Actually, I've already lost 5 pounds, so I have like 15-ish to go. But yeah, so I'll see you guys at a kit. Bye. So we just got the dresser for the baby. Now about to load it up on this trolley here. It should fit in the car, right? Uh, child, I hope so. Yeah, they make they don't make the trolleys like I should be able to lock it. You know what I mean? I'm really in love with like high ceilings. One time I saw this video of this house in Dallas, and the ceilings were as high as this. They were like probably 80 feet. But now looking at it, like I would never want to be in a house with like high ceilings. Like just weird. You know what I mean? I definitely want high ceilings, like 30 feet max. I think I would like it. 80 feet high ceilings? Nah, that's Yeah. Cool. Like, I wouldn't mind ceilings that end, like, like, see, one shelf, two shelf, three shelf, four, where it says 10, 35, 40. Mm. That's a good, that's like a good height. That's a bit too low for me. Too low for you? Like, five feet tall? I'm talking about too low for you. <laughs> I'm talking about too low for you. I'm not five feet. Sorry, you're five, five. My bad. Yeah, you gotta count that extra five yeah, inches. Five inches is actually a lot, though. It's a lot. Yeah, there's a very difference between five feet and five, five. Mm -hmm. Hey, guys. So, we are back from Ikea. And David dropped me off because he had to go pick up Ezekiel from daycare. But I want to make myself a nice little refresher. And you know those refreshers at Starbucks? I was craving one of those, but I really don't want to be drinking that. I made a refresher recently. That is so good. Let me show you guys. First things first, you wanna grab yourself a cute glass. Then you're gonna take grapefruit Perrier. You can use like grapefruit or the lime one or lemon one, whatever you wanna use. But the grapefruit one, this is where everything changes, okay? I just realized that most of y'all watching are in the States. So. Just find yourself a nice tasting juice, preferably a lemonade or pomegranate drink will do you right but i got this one right here from president's choice it's only in canada i believe but it's really really good it's a pomegranate lemonade juice really really good then you're gonna pour just a little bit of that see that just to add a little bit of color and you're gonna set it up and stir around your ice and everything make sure everything's mixing together Woo! this stuff every time Every time it just hits, it has the perfect amount of like bubbly, and then it has like just a hint, just a hint of that sugary feeling, but not too much, not too overbearing. Try it at home. Let me know how it goes. Since Ezekiel is back from daycare, I'm gonna take him for a walk right now, um, because it's pretty nice outside. So I figured I might not go for a walk. We read some books earlier. If you're a mother and you want your child to read, I suggest getting these books from Amazon. It's very beginner friendly and it's easy for them to like you know catch on slowly and then eventually know how to read we did a few books in here and now we're gonna go for a cute little walk hey guys so it is the next day it is tuesday afternoon still recovering but we're hanging in there and we're doing what we gotta do 
I did my Bible study. I had a good prayer session. When you speak the word of God to yourself, you receive strength, okay? But here we are, and I have a few things to do today. First thing first is that I'm washing these makeup brushes because they are dirty, like they are actually gross. I also have to complete the edits for the Divine Influence conference promo because I want it to look very crisp and beautiful. That is my dishwasher. That is interrupting our conversation right now. I also found this beautiful, beautiful recipe. If you know me, you know that I love trying new recipes. And this one is a Nigerian peppered chicken stew. Um, I've never made it before. Okay, I got all the ingredients yesterday and I'm hoping that it tastes really, really good because I am I love me some Nigerian food. I love me some African food in general. So let's see if I can make it. I can make a little bit of Congolese dishes, but I've never made a Nigerian dish. Maybe I should find a Nigerian to give the food to for them to actually tell me if it's good or not. We're, we're gonna see, we're gonna see. So it is Wednesday. Um, I tried vlogging yesterday. It may or may not be in the vlog because I don't know if it like made sense or whatever the case is, but it is Wednesday today and I'm here with David. So right now we're headed for brunch. Um, we kind of just rolled out of the bed this morning because we were like in a rush, so we didn't get to like, don't mind my hair. My hair's not even properly laid, but I was rushed. Why are you putting the camera on me? We're trying to figure out where to go. David wants to go to Brown Social. Hopefully we end up somewhere really cute and aesthetically pleasing, but I'll see you guys there. So we ended up at Brown Social because I remembered the menu and it's actually good. Thank you for the time we spent it together. We thank you for the food. We bless our bodies. We pray that uh, anyone who made it here bless our lives. Thank you. So we just finished at Brown Social House. Is that the name? Yeah. My food was good. <clears throat> my food was good. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> uh, yeah. My food was pretty good. Uh, it was a burger with onion ring. Yeah, with an onion ring inside. Not sure why. And then some fries. And then. Uh, Did you like it? Yeah, it was good. And then orange pressed or pressed orange juice. And then you had. I had chicken taco with um, a raspberry. Mocktail. It was good. Now we're gonna head home. But you know what's so funny? At the end of everything, David was like, Oh, it feels so awkward leaving a restaurant and just leaving your plate there. Yeah, and I'm like, service, I yeah. but when you at home and you'd be eating your food and you leave your plate there. No, the thing is I end up no, no 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 but I end up taking the plate. It just depends when. See <laughs> the whole thing is a when, but when I'm leaving a restaurant, I'm like I'm leaving someone else like just like, you know what I mean? I'm like, hey But you leave your plate there at home though. Yeah, yeah no, but I always no no, but at some point either you'll remove it. Ezekiel will remove it or I'll remove it. Ezekiel will remove it. Yeah, it will be removed. But like here, like there's no one want to remove the plate. We've really lost, like we've gone, right? Granted, they're getting paid <clears throat> and we tip them too. But yeah, I just... If you feel so bad, remove your plate at home. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> there's something about... It depends. If I eat late at night, then I'm not going to remove my plate. That one I can't promise. During the day, yeah, like that's just common sense. During the day. But late at night, it's like the plate is there. It's already there. You know what I mean? Like let it just sleep on the, you know... Sleep on the counter. Let it sleep. Yeah, let us sleep. Everyone needs to sleep at some time. But, yeah, so right now we're we're about to head home. Sorry guys, I keep on shaking the camera. I'm holding like the camera in an awkward position, so I do apologize for the shakiness. But that being said, guys, we'll see you guys in a little bit as we get home to do something. Look at my fingers. Look how thick my fingers are. I have little baby fingers. Look at look how yeah. thick my fingers <laughs> are. Little baby fingers. Look at little baby. No, they look like munchkins uh, now. Yeah, yeah, munchkins is baby fingers. Oh my bad. It's because of pregnancy. Yeah, no, they look really cute. Opening the vlog again in a car. car. Car vlog. Car vlogger. Don't mind my nose because I literally just took off my glasses. It is Thursday today. 
um, attempting to make a weekly vlog. We dropped off Ezekiel at his daycare and now we are currently going to get the baby's crib. It was ordered off of the registry. Speaking of the registry, we had the baby shower. Yeah, we had the baby shower last weekend. We had the baby shower literally last weekend. It was so, so beautiful. It was so nice. Unfortunately, I didn't get to vlog much as I wanted to, but I'll show you guys a little recap right now. Throwbacks. David and I used to always meet up at Carlton University to do like work, like we, um, like schoolwork or um, business work, whatever it is. Sure. Yeah, or even just to chill. Like we just chill in the Starbucks for like hours, like literally hours. And so now we're going there um, to just work on some divine influence stuff, work on some business stuff, YouTube stuff, etc., etc. I like going there because it's, it's just very, especially now that it's summer, so like, there's no students there. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of like having an office. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's really good. It's so like, yeah. and it's so nostalgic there. Majority of our relationship at the beginning was spent at Carlton. Like Carlton University. Yeah. We we've, we've probably been in like every room in Carlton. Okay, relax. Almost every room. Relax. Not even love. There's like almost there's, every room. No, no, no. <laughs> we've been in a lot of like different buildings, but like, yeah. yeah. But no, it was really, it was really fun. Plus, we, we also used to have um, service, uh, like church services at Carlton. Yeah. So, uh, in the camp theater, so that was also to remind, so, yeah. No. We just love Carlton University. Although, like, whenever they hit me up, like, so basically when you graduate as an alumni, they will hit you up and ask, like, oh, do you want to give money to Carlton? In my head, I'm like, haven't I given you guys enough money? My tuition was, like, 50, 40, uh, like, 40, 50, you no, know, it was, yeah, my tuition was $50,000. And I know that my education was not worth that money. So that's all the money you're getting from me. No matter how much money I make, I will never give it to Carlton. Wow. And I know it sounds like, like it sounds weird because I just said I love Carlton. What I really mean is I love the buildings. It's confusion of the highest order. I love order. the building. Tickets, I had to pay them. Before I even like- You were it. paying tickets because you didn't want to park well, your been, car yeah, in Yeah, because place. I'm already spending like 40K on my education. Carlton didn't want to give me my diploma. It took like two years to get, for them to give me my diploma or my whatever it's called, like your degree thing, diploma. Degree, yeah. Because I had like $200, $200 of a parking ticket to pay. So me, I was like, yo, out of principle, so now you got me heated. Out of principle, I'm like, no, you got me heated. I was like, I know I can pay the 200, but like, how you not gonna give me my, my diploma? And I've spent $40,000 on it because of a $200 ticket. So. Yeah, so. um. I ended up paying it off. Some... After two years, I ended up paying it because people thought I didn't. Well, my mom thought I didn't graduate because I couldn't give her anything and. Yeah, you know, I, I, don't get it. I love Carlton. Um, so that I guess there was some like, you know, you just, unfinished you business yeah, between David and Carlton it's University. Very so it's um, to yeah, yeah it needs to it's good to vent it out. Yeah. But we still love Carlton University. Carlton University, if you're watching right now, we love you. The buildings. And uh, we're headed there, and I'm really excited because we like working there, and we get a lo it's a really productive environment. Yeah. And after Carlton, on the way to pick up Ezekiel, we have to go to Best Buy. Yeah. Because we used to have a camera, um, the Sony ZV1. ZV1, but it was like it was broken inside, so they fixed it for us instead of just replacing it for us, and then sent it back to us after like months, and it was still broken. It was so still broken. We ended up buying this camera that we're currently using. This which camera is, the is Sony ZV10. Yeah, but, um, you're thinking of starting a vlog or you're thinking of starting a, a vlogging channel or whatever the case is do not get the sony zv one just don't get it yeah i don't personally like it. just don't get it like you, you can't change the lenses it's just like yeah. one static lens two i find it to be too um like the softening is good but it's just a bit too soft like yeah you don't get a lot of like um what's the word texture texture or whatever word you would use like that. like it doesn't look real yeah, exactly. It's not. It looks sharp. like an iPhone, to be honest. Yeah, it's not. It's an iPhone. Yeah, um, but if you and 
it's kind of interesting because if you want to start a vlog you're thinking of getting the sony zv1 or the sony what is this called again sony ev zv10 zv10 if you're thinking of getting that get this one it's the same price but it's you're able price. to like change lens you're able yeah, to do all that crazy we, stuff we have a lens that we bought that the sigma we have the sigma uh, lens that you bought this is the sigma 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 chalice sigma, sigma. Mm -mm. so not to cut you off just like since we're all in like this whole ranting thing we ranted about Carlton. We ranted about the Sony. Tell me how it's about to be 11 a.m. in this traffic. How do you have traffic in the city of Are one you million? Angry today? Come on, but like, Are you mad? Today? We only have a million people in the city, and there's traffic at 11 a.m. Why aren't people at work? That's my question. It's a recession. Go get your money. I should be at work. <laughs> no, guys, I'm actually not working today. But like, I, I, you know, I booked off. But like, did everyone book off? Like, what is this? Everybody book off. Why today. is everyone? Why is the whole thing? I'm going ten kilometers per hour. Almost. Yeah. Like. Everybody's outside. Only Everybody. people should be outside is me. Like, that's that, that's how my mom used to be. Whenever <laughs> there was traffic, she get mad. I'm like, mom, no people are allowed to drive, right? The same way we're driving. And it's that's enough for answer for today. All in all, the Lord is good. The Lord is good. It's a new day. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a new day. day. You know, it's a really I got good all day. That out of um, me now. It's good to get your feelings out. So we picked up the crib. Turns out it was actually Walmart and not Toys R Us. So. Good thing we checked. And we have a, have a bunch of other stuff too. Yeah, I'm leaving this in the vlog. I'm leaving that in there. Just so you know, I'm leaving it in there. So we made it to Boston University and we found a pretty decent classroom. Let me show y'all. See? Got this to ourselves. I brought myself a lunch because you gotta make sure that you are eating. Make sure you eat your food and your vegetables and all of that. Uh, I made some chicken. I made some Nigerian chicken the other day. I feel like my opinion could be pretty biased because I made it myself and it tastes so good. And it was spicy and it was bomb. And like, mmm. At the baby shower, we had food from this place called V's Kitchen. So good. That's what kind of made me want to try the pepper chicken recipe. Because her chicken was so, so good. Obviously, I'm not going to say my food was like hers. It, it really wasn't. But honestly, her food encouraged me. We're about to leave Carlton. Uh, we got some work done. What I realized is that Carlton upgraded everything in literally every single room, in every single building, the moment I graduated. So back in the day, this was like uh, one of the buildings that we used to work in. It's called Southam Hall. And the floors were complete trash. They just put in like new floors, a new desk, uh, new chairs. They have this thing now, I don't even know what this is, but it looks like a camera with a thing. I don't know, maybe that it might be for Zoom. And uh, yeah, they just wait for me to graduate. That's another reason why Carlton and I, we have beef. But no, honestly, it was really cool. We got to do a lot of work. There's like a spirit in Carlton that, unfortunately, I didn't have that spirit when I was here, which is the spirit of productivity. I was actually gonna ask you to tell them how my chicken was because I was telling them about the Nigerian pepper chicken that I made um, a few days ago. Yeah, no, it was actually really good. Yeah, Ezekiel loved it as well. Mm -hmm. um, he was just like literally eating just a chicken. And just was it really good? The way you said it, it didn't really sound like you were giving like that. Was it no, no, no. It, it no, it actually was really good. I just I prefer your Congolese chicken, just because it doesn't have as much like spices. But I know all, all you Nigerian, shout out to my Nigerians, you guys just love your spices. But I, I love spices too. Yeah, no, you're from the Caribbean, so it makes sense. I, love I did it. like it a lot though. It was really good. Uh, but I just prefer your Congolese one because it's not because you didn't tell me it was Nigerian or whatever I just I just saw chicken. It's smoking. It, it looked good. So when I ate it, I'm like, oh, this is dope And then I just like I felt someone slap me at the same time like two seconds afterwards I felt the spice and just it slapped me, but I, I mean I ate, I ate the whole thing. So it was it was really good Hi! 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 Okay, Zeke come up daddy. Alright guys, this is daddy and Zeke here. Zeke say hi. Zeke Okay, well I guess you're just saying hi. Hi! Hi! hi. So the men of the house are currently going to uh ah, you know, ah, Yeah. Ah. See what happens when you the first time on YouTube. Ah. Okay, so the men of the house are going to build <laughs> this nightstand. We have, it's our first project together, right? So we're gonna show them how uh, we're the men of the house and how that's how we do. We run the stuff. Uh Naomi's currently in the other room. She's editing some stuff that we need. And Zeke is gonna help me. Wait, hold up. Yay, we did it! Okay. We did it! Yeah. So I probably shouldn't just rip the, the box open, but that's probably exactly what I want to do. Um, uh, come. Uh, that's just perfect. Yeah. Here we have the instructions. And here we have the instructions. Someone might say, 
we should read them? Yes, that's how I was showing them. Thank you, buddy. Someone might say, wow, David, you should really read the instructions. But you know what? That's not what we're gonna do. We are going to build this by faith. No, I'm just kidding, we're actually gonna read the instructions. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I don't like when there's always a bunch of parts to like these things, to be honest. Okay, Zeke, you got to hold. Okay, here, this is yours. You gotta make sure to hold this. Okay, we're gonna take out all the pieces. Yo, I love the smell of wood. It smells good. Okay. So, yo, why are there so many pieces? Ah, yeah, yeah, you're showing them. Back up a bit so they can see you. Come, come here. Okay, here we have all the tools that are gonna be in here. Okay. All right. Thank you. Zeke is actually uh, setting all the stuff side by side. Yo, don't tell me that we need a screwdriver. And I don't have my screws. So, this is starting on a good note. My, uh, okay, I don't have my screwdrivers. I don't have my drill either. Okay, so this is not starting on a good note. I'm missing a screwdriver. I'm missing a hammer. And I'm missing my drill. This is a very brief intermission because um, we're missing two drivers and we're missing a hammer. Very brief intermission. We'll be right back and we will get those items so we can start building. All right, guys. See you in a bit. Come see. Bye bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. We'll see you in a bit. Bye. See you. See you. <laughs> Hey guys, so it is Friday today. Super excited today because it is a special day. You guys may not know this because I just started a new channel and so you're still getting to know me, but it is one of my favorite people's birthday today. It is my grandmother's birthday and we're gonna spend the evening with her. Plus tomorrow, her and I are gonna spend some time together, but I'm super pumped. I'm looking forward to celebrating her and just loving on her because she is literally the best, guys. Like, she's the best. Hopefully I can get her on camera because she's kind of camera shy sometimes, but at the same time she likes the camera on her. So in the meantime, I'm absolutely starving and I'm waiting for David to start building um, the thing that he attempted building yesterday with Ezekiel but didn't work out. I'm waiting for him to start on that, but for now I'm gonna make myself some food. We do have some leftover tacos from yesterday because I made some tacos yesterday and they were really, really good. So I'm gonna eat some of that while I wait for my man. The camera is not doing these tacos justice, but they are so good. I'm so excited to eat this right now. We're trying to figure out what we're gonna make for Nana to eat, but we're gonna make some probably Baja shrimp tacos, which is extremely different than the tacos we had last night. If you know, then you know, okay? So. I'm thinking she'll like that. And then my grandma is so extra. Like I told her I was gonna buy her a cake, right? Cause I know what cake, she likes everything. She went and bought the cake herself. And I'm just like, how are you gonna buy your own cake for your birthday? So yeah, there's that. Hopefully, and then I was like, what do you wanna eat? She's like, don't stress, don't stress. No, I'm gonna make you some food. So, you know, nothing crazy. But it's like chill food because we're having a chill night. Mm -hmm. And then tomorrow is when um, we're going to chill some more. Literally, whenever I hang out with my grandmother and David and Ezekiel all together, it's a vibe. It's really a vibe. So I'm really excited. Yeah. I know I missed you. Yeah. Okay, so we are back home with my grandmother. We got everything we need for the shrimp tacos. We got some shrimp here lime we also got some thyme where's the thyme <gasps> okay so no the mint it's over there i got some mint because i'm gonna make you know the drink i told you guys earlier i'm gonna make that drink but i'm gonna add some mint and lime in it and we also got some we got a lot of everything so you guys are gonna see me cook it for my grandmother hopefully by then she'll want to be on camera she's playing shy i told you guys she's camera shy but she also likes the camera so we'll see <laughs>
So that was the end of our little get together. <laughs> Just eating some cake and then we're probably gonna watch some Deal or No Deal, which is actually a really good show. Like I forgot how good that show was. It's really it's really entertaining. But for now, it's goodbye. <laughs> Cause we're gonna spend some time together. Hey guys, so it is Saturday and I'm here with my grandmother. We are continuing the festivities and we are having a nice grandma and granddaughter day. Um, we're not sure what we're doing yet. <laughs> but we are at the mall currently. My grandma loves the mall. My grandma loves to shop. So we're gonna see what we can get. Okay guys, so we just got back from the mall. We're in the car now, in the parking lot, and we went shopping. It was supposed to be for Nana, but Nana only wanted to get stuff for the baby. I mean, I'm not complaining. We thank God. We thank God for a good Nana. What did you get for yourself? <laughs> Absolutely, Absolutely nothing. nothing. But right and now, I'm good. <laughs> but right now, we're gonna go and find somewhere to eat. Um, Nana still wants Chinese food. I told her we can get it, but she claims that we should both be happy. Even though I'm completely fine. But we'll see what we find. Hopefully we find somewhere that has Chinese food as well. <laughs> and yeah. We made it to the milestones. It's probably the best iced tea. On a scale of 1 to 10. I'll give it a 9. A 9. A 9. What iced tea you know gets a 9? That's crazy. It's so, so good. We just finished our food and it was so good. Even my grandma was saying it was good. It was delicious. It was still better than better than uh, Chinese food. Way better than Chinese. Said way better than Chinese food. I just knew she wanted to get Chinese food from the food court. I was like, Nana, you are better than that. But no, the food was good. I got a steak sandwich, but it's like a fancy steak sandwich, and Nana got a chicken portobello mushroom. And the whole time she was like, mm, it's good. Mm. It's good, and we still have leftovers. Hey guys, we're actually back home. We've been home for a while now, but it is getting pretty late, and I have to edit this vlog to make sure that it's out on time for you guys. If you guys enjoy the long vlogs, let me know in the comment down below because I will be providing some more long content. So give it a like, give it a comment, and I hope you guys have a great day and that you have a marvelous week by the grace of God. And I will see you next week for another video.